Arturo Sandoval is a celebrated virtuoso trumpeter with blazing seamless technique whose bop flavored lines effortlessly soar up into the highest register of the instrument and have audiences enthusiastically in awe the world over. While displaying all that, Arturo swings hard. The proof is in the CDs I remember Clifford and Swinging, while he turns the burner up to high with the outstanding discs Hot House and The Latin Train. Sandoval mastered the flugelhorn with his warm, mellow tone, and he is also known for his artistry with the classical repertoire, releasing his disc, The Classical Album, his piano expertise, issuing the CD, My Passion for the Piano, as well as being an accomplished composer. Born in Cuba, Arturo is the son of an auto mechanic who began playing the horn at the age of nine, classical studies at 12, and was a student in the Cuban National School of the Arts by 15. He became a member of the Cuban Orchestra of Modern Music, which by 1973 evolved into the award-winning ensemble Iracare. Sandoval met Dizzy Gillespie in 77 and subsequently was featured in Dizzy's United Nations Orchestra. Arturo left Iracare in 1981 to tour and record with his own band in Cuba. After years and years of being under the suppression of the Castro regime, and the touring restrictions imposed on him during a European tour. In July of 1990, he defected at the American Embassy in Rome and was granted political asylum, becoming a U.S. citizen in 1999 and releasing his U.S. debut, Flight to Freedom, in 1991. You can hear his music on numerous soundtracks such as Havana, Mambo Kings, and Random Hearts, to name a few. He's performed at the White House on several occasions at the Super Bowl in January of 95, along with the Academy Awards. Andy Garcia appeared as the trumpet great in the film For Love or Country, the Arturo Sandoval story, for which Arturo's work won him an Emmy Award for Outstanding Music Composition for a Movie. That album says it all. Numerous Grammy Awards and Grammy nominations, Billboard Awards, and ASCAP Founders Award, the Naris Foundation's Award for Excellence in Music Education, and he is a tenured professor at Florida International University, are just a short list of Sandoval's trophies and accomplishments. Fans can next expect a tribute disc featuring the music of all of Arturo's favorite trumpeters who came before him that he respects and admires. And here to talk about that CD and his colorful life and career, Arturo Sandoval, welcome and nice to have you here. Wow, what an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you deserve everything you said. You did and more. <laughs> it could go on for pages and pages, my friend. Uh, Why yeah. did you want to do this tribute disc? What was it about these trumpet greats that made you say, I, I have, have that, to do this? I have that idea in my mind for many, many, many years. And I proposed that to several record labels over the years, you know, and they say, yes, yes, wow, yeah, we would like to do it, let's do it next year, let's do it in six months, let's do that, that, that. But um, fortunately, you know, they don't want to do it. And I think, I, I, I strongly believe in God, and I, I, I probably, God said, you know what, you should wait a little bit, you're gonna, live, gonna be a little older, you're gonna have a little more experience, and maybe you can do a better job with all those people. And finally, we, put a lease, it was very difficult to, to make a selection because it's hundreds of people who deserve to be in that record, you know. Like who? Oh, um, people who is known in the record, which I, I, I'm so sorry very much, people like Al Herr, Doc Severison, uh, Woody yeah. Show, and um, could be on, 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 Pick and Dolly, Yuan Raisi, uh, a lot of great, great trumpet players, Adolf Herzef, on Chicago Symphony, and um, unfortunately, I, I, I'm gonna mention in the liner notes a uh, thousand of them. Gonna be like a little book inside, I'm gonna make a list of all trumpet players I ever hear or I ever know about or read about in somewhere, gonna be in that liner notes. But um, we end, for, for matters of, of, of time, we end with 19 of them. And who did you have to do? <laughs> Just a few. Yes, a few. We, we start, actually, the record going to be like a chronologically, you know. We're going to start with uh, Keen Oliver, 1923, King and Oliver, then in 1927, going to be Bix Biderbeck. Bix Biderbeck, yeah. And then we're going to have Louis Antron, 1931, Bonnie Berrigan, 36, uh, Cudi William. <laughs> 1940, <laughs> right. concerto for Curie is something that Duke Ellington wrote for him, 1940. And then 45, we got uh, Harry James, and then 47, we got Dizzy, and um, Fat Navarro, 
That's the vow, yeah. And then we got a Roy Eldridge before that, of course, I'm sorry, Roy Eldridge. And then Maino Ferguson as well. And then the classical one also, we're going to have Maurice André and uh, Timo Fake, Doug Cheeser, an Armenian classical trumpet player, which is probably one of my favorite, Rafael Mendez. <sighs> and, and, and we end the list with Winter Marsalis, which, you know, which is one of the... Uh, and um, I'm very, very, very happy. I can tell you how happy I am with the, how the record came out you know, and, at the end. And putting this disc together did what for you? What did it give you? Oh, my goodness. Number one, it's a serious research, you know, of, of what the tunes really represent those individuals. There are 19 people different with different sound and different uh, style, a different approach to the music. I was just going to say that, right? And it's a serious, a serious research and serious work and investigate, uh, you know, what a, the tune really represent and better. I really got a help of a couple of people who really participate somehow in, in that story, which is uh, Clad Terry and Quincy John, which is uh, Quincy is <laughs> one of the executive producer of the record. And, um, and Clad Terry helped me a lot to really find the tunes who really represent all those people quite well, you know. Because unfortunately, um, I, I, I didn't meet Lewis or Biggs or, or, or Bunny, Berry, and all those people, but, uh, but Clad Terry met, met all of them, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, Mumbles. I, oh, yeah. And I, I, <coughs> of course, he's, he's one, one in the list as well, of course. And um, that takes a lot of time, a lot of time. And then I have to lock myself in the room and start to study all those things, you know, and practice and practice and practice and listen again and listen. Because I, I, I want to, you know, I want to really pay tribute, especially to the, to the style of those people. To be able to have your finger on the pulse of the way they approach the instrument. Yeah, and also, you know, to be familiar with their style, you really have to... Immerse yourself in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in that thing, and and that takes a lot of time. A What's the name of, of the disc? So far, we got a title which is said a tribute to the trumpet, but I don't know. It's I like that. It's um, optional. I, I don't know. We we're still thinking about. And when can we expect it, Arturo? We're still mixing nowadays. I think hopefully mid of March going to be re released. When you think about all of those trumpet players, let's say of the 19 players, and you think about yourself, what's the difference between the way you approach the instrument, let's say, and the way they did? <laughs> oh, I prefer to, to hear somebody answer that question <laughs> of myself, you know. But to be honest, you know, I, I've, been, I've been all my life a big uh, fan and, uh, and I admire so much all of them. And I pay attention, and I, I, I also, to be honest, I also, I, I, I don't have any kind of complex to make a rendition of somebody else, you know. You know what I mean? I, 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 I'm, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy so much doing my Lewis or, or Harry James or whatever, you know, because I respect them very much, you know. And of course, I do it that with a lot of respect, you know, like uh, making a caricature, you know taking very seriously what the legacy they let off, you know, to us. And, um, and um, what, what I can tell you about my playing or whatever is, I don't pretend to, to demonstrate that I'm an inventor of any particular style or I'm a creator or anything. I am just a guy who loves music. I'm very fortunate to be a musician and may my living, playing music, which is my passion, my love, my life. And, um, and whatever I have to do, uh, musical-wise, is I like it, I'm going to have a good time. I don't have any problem to say, oh, I'm going to sound a little bit like this or that or that. Right. I don't care about that. I don't have that ego problem that like somebody else says, no, 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 no. I'm going to sound like me all the time. No, 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 I don't have that problem. No. Did doing this disc, did it... Did it get everything you wanted out of your creative energies? I mean, did it, did it get for you what you wanted it to get in terms of your I creativity try, and challenge I, yourself? I try, 
as hard you can imagine, you know, to really represent those people with dignity. That's the only thing I can tell you. And, and, and um, I respect them so much and I, I can no fool around doing something which really I don't believe is, is seriously done. Do you think you learn more about music and more about your instrument during the, do it, the whole process? Mm, no, more so. Do you think you learn about music or playing the instrument from within yourself or listening to others around you? You know, in everything in life, it's exactly the same thing. You want to learn, you want to improve and, 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 and grow as an artist. Better keep your ear open and listen and learn as much as you can from anybody, anywhere, in any moment, you know. And um, that has been my philosophy. I'm trying to learn all the time. I never got the idea that I reached some point or I, I find some goal already in my life. Oh yeah, but when you reach that point in your life, you better retire because you're done. You're never too old to stop learning. No, no, no. It, 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 that's, that's a mentality that made you improve and grow as an artist, you know. That's the only way because uh, it's always somebody out there who can give you a different perspective of the of the story different you know? vantage point right yeah, yeah. They say, you know what i approach that way they say, wow interesting exactly and you incorporate that in the end we are like a, a brain if you're a musician and you are into jazz your your brain must be like an sponge you know you have to absorb Constantly keep soaking up what's going yeah, on around you. Constantly. You have to listen and learn and incorporate different things because everybody has their own speech, their own thing, their own way to spice the music. Right, exactly. And when, uh, this is what I have been doing all my life, trying to learn from everyone. How much of this disc is for Arturo Sandoval? How much of this disc is for the public? No, no, I, to be honest, I... I, I I did this record thinking about the people who respect and love the instrument more than anything else. And I think those one who know the history of the instrument and know the original recording of all those tunes, they're going to enjoy that more than anybody else. But it's a, it's a great orchestra. We put together the best, the, the, the first call in L.A. musician to do this record. We, we, we do a few with complete symphony orchestra, the rest is big band, and a few with a combo. And my, the rhythm section is my own rhythm section, which I'm very, very happy with them. And, and they're extremely professional and very dedicated musician, and I enjoy very much playing with them. And I use my rhythm section all the way in the whole record. But we use the best musician in LA, studio musician, who really give you you know, the kind of uh, sound and experience and professionalism we need for this kind of job, you know. 